Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a review and demonstration on the Better Homes and Garden Cool Mist Ultrasonic Aroma Diffuser. This diffuser is sold at my local Walmart and more than likely is at yours. However, I can't guarantee it. If you don't see it on the ground or in store in your local Walmart, do refer to walmart.com because I did see um, a lot of the aroma diffusers available and in stock online at the last time which was about two days ago that I looked to see if any of these particular items were in stock. Uh, my local Walmart on the shelf it was displayed at a cost of $24.99 however it rung up at $23.72 and I also saw the $23 two days ago and set uh, $23.72 being reflected on the site as well but that price may change um, at Walmart's discretion. In my store, they had uh, six or seven other styles to choose from. So this is the pattern that I went with from my house. They also had two different essential oil or oil type manufacturers sold. Um, one brand I did not buy because the bottles were about $6 a piece and I didn't care for any of the scents outside of peppermint, one of which I do regret not purchasing. This is the other brand that is sold at Walmart, and these were $2. So I thought, hey, you know, I've never used, done this before. I'm going to go in as least expensive as possible. So uh, very vanilla, or vanilla berry, amber vanilla, and rosemary mint, $2 a piece. And again, the other company I did not buy. Um, but I, when I return to Walmart, I will be picking up the peppermint because that one, that particular set I did care for, even though it's $5 and like $64.84 cent. This brand here I bought at my local Arab store in my community. And they're two for five, and which is a vanilla. And a lavender in the company, if you're wondering, it's called Scentology. On to the product. This is the display box. It does have a cutout so you're able to feel the material because not all of the warmers, they kind of all have a ceramic outer body. Um, but like this one has a more matte stone kind of feel. Um, there's others that's more polished and seem like it's got a hand painted motif to it. So you're able to check it out and see it better here in the window. Just a box tour. You do get instructions on the on the back of the package. And then you just get a couple of screenshot views of the uh, one you go with. Here's the unit in person. I may have to pause to take it loose, but it's just some grooves here. This is made out of a hard plastic. You got silicone grooves, and um, the mechanism is plastic as well. Be right back. Okay, all you have to do is kind of twist and lift up. Nothing um, more than that, just a little bit of slight elbow grease. And then you, this little piece here comes out of the groove here. And it helps you to know where to line it up. On the unit, you have a max and pour here to empty line. So let's say you want to change out your sense. I'm going to turn the light on so you guys can see it. And um, the max line just basically knows how far you need to go with the water. So we're going to add some water here. I normally stop about there because I take into account the oil will raise the water level. Let's say you're sick and tired of smelling whatever you put in there. This is where you would pour out into whatever cup, sink, or whatever, however you want to disperse it. But that's your kind of change out area. As you can see, the unit does change in color. And it goes through about eight or nine different um, tones, which you'll see here in this video. But let's say you don't like the transition of color to color. You can select which color um, that you like and lock it in and it will stay at that color. I typically like the green and the lavender and sometimes the blue. In the meantime, I'm going to mix rosemary mint 
and what little bit of lavender I have left. That has been my most go-to scent concoction. For the hard wax melters, this is something that you most definitely can customize your own scent, even though you're using oils. You're also not stuck to the oils that Walmart sells. You can use other essential oils by other manufacturers if you choose to do so. You're not limited in that. I'm going to pause here just so that I can get the lids off the oils and then we're going to add it and watch it mist. Okay, so I'm adding a few drops of the lavender. I found that at first I did as the instruction said and I kind of did that and it just wasn't give I couldn't detect as much of the scent that I like so I um add about five drops of one and two or three drops of the other um, if you've never blended before whatever you want to smell the most of that's the one that you use the most and then whatever your second or third note is that's what you use the least and that's how you kind of control the scent you would put the lid back on like so. You put the cover back on like so. And you just push down. You want to make sure that the nozzle or spout is neatly fitted in the little circle cutout. Now I'm going to push button number two and lock in at this color tone. And I just turned the unit on. And as you can see, it's misting. It's relatively quiet, doesn't make a lot of noise at all. And what noise it makes is actually quite serene and tranquil. It's a uh, reminiscent of what maybe a aquarium may sound like to you. Uh, waterfall drip, uh, driplets of water on your window pane. It, for the most part, is pretty quiet. It is um, non-intrusive. It doesn't interfere with any other noises that you may have in your room. It will not compete with any electronics at all. Um, the only time that you would really kind of pick up on it is when the room is absolutely silent. And it's, again, it shouldn't disrupt you with your sleep. If anything, it should aid you in your rest. I find that the light is not harsh. It's dim. And it gives a very peaceful ambiance. Um, so I like it. I find that the amount of water and oil that I just use, and I smell it beautifully from here. Um, you can smell it upon entering the room. You can smell it being in the room. Um, but it's it's in a calming way. Um, everyone knows that watch my channel. I like things very loud and very commanding. And this is very noticeable, but in a much more of a nurturing and soothing type of way. Also, um, I noticed about this that I don't need my nightlight. I actually prefer this dim, uh, gentle lighting. It's so soft. It's not harsh. It's not abrasive at all. It's just very, very comforting. So I wanted to make sure that I took time this week to do um, a review on this product. I think it it's beautifully priced and it's performing exceedingly well for its price. Um, I'm, I'm very glad that I took a chance and purchased it because I was a little intimidated with this way of scenting a house and um, just because I never did it before. Um, I also want to make mention that you get about five to six hours or so before you need to add more water and oil. So um, anywhere between five to seven hours before you need to swap it out. And um, I think that's really good because you don't spend all day constantly babysitting um, a, like a warmer. Some scents only last three to five hours. Uh, hours some things too and if you wanting a scent to go to for a 24 hour period you're slave to the warmer I didn't find that to be the case with this so definitely check out your Walmart or Walmart.com for this particular brand which is Better Homes and Gardens 
I'm pretty sure Target has something like this and etc. But that's not what I'm doing a review on. I was doing it on this one. Have a blessed day, everyone. Peace.